Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Today we're doing the reading for Taurus from the 15th to the 31st, 2020. Um, I would like to say, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destinies. This may or may not resonate with everyone. Okay, so subscribe, like, comment, and share uh, this video if it, you know, feels good to you right also to my subscribers welcome back and to any new subscribers welcome to the channel I'm glad you're here so we're gonna go ahead and get started with Taurus for January 15th to the 31st 2020 these cards are pre shuffled I'm shuffling one more time with the energy of the reading so the energy for Taurus for January 15th to the 31st, 2020 is Ten of Wands. Mm. Something's hard right now, right? Something's a burden. Let's find out what's going on for Taurus, January 15th to the 31st, 2020. Five of Swords in the reverse. Arguing, fighting, bickering, words being passed. Rude, mean, nasty words, too. Princess of Coins, so you might be fighting with a child, fighting with your kid, maybe. <clears throat> January, Three of Wands, you're waiting for something to come, too. So, Taurus, maybe what's happening is something's a big burden, right, right now. Okay, you're fighting, you're arguing, you're bickering with somebody. And who could that be? It could be somebody younger than you, or it could be your child, and it could be about money. Now, you're waiting for your ships to come in, you're waiting for your money to come. And they're already asking you for it. Already. All right? Why is this a Five of Swords here for Taurus? Why is this Five of Swords here for Taurus? Let me get one more card. Five of Swords here for Taurus. <clears throat> well, Ace of Wands in reverse, Three of Pentacles. Let me get one more card for Taurus, please. One more card for Taurus. Three of Cups, Celebration. So, you're in the Five of Swords energy with somebody arguing and fighting. Why? Uh, because there was no passion at the beginning with this person. This person decided to not have that new beginning with you. Um, <clears throat> they don't want to work things out, right? And this could be involving because of a Three of Cups energy. Co possibly somebody else was involved with your relationship and you don't want that anymore. You're good. You don't need any other people butting into your business and getting involved and then your your mate doing the things that they're saying. Now, this could be with uh, somebody younger than you or it, it could be your child. Why is this princess of coins in the reverse? Okay, or possibly you're not receiving a message from somebody of stability. Since it's in the reverse, you know, this could be that you uh, haven't spoken to your child or your child is... Um, they're not telling you something. So something might have happened. Let's see, what is this? Seven of Cups in reverse. So somebody no longer having options. Why not? Why is this Princess of Coins in the reverse? Why is this Princess of Coins? Somebody's feeling left out. Somebody's feeling their remorse, sadness. Okay, what else do we have for this Princess of Coins? has to do with the message of emotions okay so <clears throat> you're not getting that uh, you know this person this princess of coins or whoever's holding that energy is not getting what they want right they thought they had a lot of options but they don't in reality okay and this person is they were crying over spilled milk, but they're not anymore. They're not anymore. Because they were actually waiting for an emotional message to come in from somebody, right? And yeah, 
It was for, supposed to be from somebody from the past, and they did not receive any messages about anything. They were fighting with this person and disagreements with this person. They, they used a lot of sharp words on each other. You did and um, this other person. And now you're feeling this ten of wands. It's too much of a burden. You don't want to fight anymore. It sucks. Um, so you're waiting for something else to happen. Okay. You're waiting for something else to come in. Okay. I'm not going to say ships. Okay. Because, you know, I don't know if you're waiting for money or something, but you know, it could be that you're waiting to hear from somebody. So you might have decided to let something else go. You're not hearing anything from this person or this, you know, whatever it is you're waiting for. So you're just going to end up letting them go. So why is this three of wands here? Why is this three of wands here? Yeah, there's no emotional new beginning. You've waited for it. You've been waiting for it. Um, yeah, and you're just going to say, you know what? I don't want to fight for this anymore. That's what you're coming to the conclusion. Because you maybe you feel like you're missing opportunities in your life because you're waiting for something that just hasn't been coming in. It's not coming in. It's just you're you're not feeling it no more. You're over it. You're over this crap. When you can have, you know, when you know that the universe has, oh gosh, okay, I'm going to put this card back in this card. And you know that, that yeah. You're going to get messages coming in from somebody, okay? You're going to get messages coming in. Um, now, at this present time, you want to fight for something, but it doesn't look like it's love. You might be wanting to fight for, um, uh, it could be money, custody. It could be uh, children, dealing with children, trying to collect child support, palimony, whatever. Maybe you're going to court for something. And you're, you're waiting for that to, to get the outcome answer on that, okay? That's what could it could be. You're not waiting for, oh, the, my love is coming. No, you're waiting for, where's my money? You know what I'm saying? Type of uh, issue, I think. And it has to do with children, okay? Um, let me see here. Let me just fix these real quick, you guys. You guys know how I do that. i got to fix them. Okay. So, let's find out what's going on here in this, this battle that's going on. Let me get three cards for um, Taurus. Three cards for Taurus. Yeah, it has to do with money, though, for sure. Um, fighting with somebody. The Emperor. Okay, you could be holding that energy. All right. Um, let me get two more cards. Actually, yeah, I think that is you, Taurus, I, you know, to be honest. Let me get two more cards. Let me get two more cards. Let me get two more cards for um, Taurus. This is for January 15th to 31st, 2020. The Hermit going within, starting to try and figure out what's going on here because you're, you're fed up. You're fed up. You're, you're done. You don't want to fight about this crap anymore. You're waiting for the answer. You're waiting for the outcome of this situation. Let me get one more card for... Taurus, please. One more card for Taurus. Maybe you're going to be done paying some sort of reparations. Maybe it's, you don't have to pay anymore because maybe you found out the child wasn't yours. Maybe you found out um, that you've been overpaying. Okay. Maybe you found out that, okay, these all the kids are of age. You don't have to pay anymore. Something like that. Oh, shoot. Okay, well... <clears throat> The card closest to the mat is the Empress. Definitely, this is who you're dealing with. King of Coins. At the, uh, this was the second card that came out. So, okay, <clears throat> you have money. You have money. Taurus, you could be holding, you, you are the Emperor, okay? You're, fi you're fighting and arguing with somebody, okay? And you're going into Hermit mode to try and figure out how am I going to deal with this Empress, who has the kid there, too. She might be using the kid against you. Okay, Taurus. So let's find out what else is going on with this Emperor card. Why is this Emperor card? What does he have going on? Two of Pentacles, some juggling. Okay, so maybe um, either you were juggling or your 
person was juggling, and now there's there's a, like a money court battle going on. She wants money for the child, or okay, or because that princess of coins is in the reverse, you went within because you're just like you know, is this my kid? Find out it's not your kid. You are already find out that you don't have to pay anymore. Okay, because the kids are of age or or maybe you're even going to get money back because you've been paying longer than you should have and that money needs to be returned to you. There was some juggling going on. Why is this emperor card here? Sorry, I was just getting all that info. Okay, so uh, yeah, because the I think the um, empress there was doing a little jug juggle of her own. Uh, let me get one more card for the emperor. He's going to get wish fulfillment. He's going to get money out of this. Okay, the hermit card. That could be you, Taurus. That could be you getting some cash now. Getting cash back because of a burden you had to deal with, right? Why is this hermit card here for Taurus? January 15th to the 31st. Ten of Pentacles, it was something you were hanging on to. Now you're trying to hang on to your money because this person was being, you know, a certain type of way. And, and it looks like you are going to come out on this. You're going to come out. Yeah, it has to do with the Queen of Cups. Okay. You were maybe involved with the Queen of Cups. This is somebody from your past. And she ended up, you know, ripping you off, burning you. You know, like that song when, you know, you pay for 18 years and then you find out the kid it wasn't yours or something like that. Some shit, you know, but it's like, damn. <clears throat> so why is this empress here? What did the empress do? What did the empress do? What did she do? Oops. Six of swords in the upright. She, she moved away from this situation. What else did this empress do? She left the situation to start passion somewhere else. Let me get one more card for the empress. 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 Or two. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So basically what happened is she wanted a new passionate start somewhere, right? She was waiting for somebody to return to her. Okay, that's why. She was waiting for somebody to return to her and um, the emperor possibly. She wanted to have, um, she wanted to move towards him or him move towards her, right? And so what happened was we have this ace of spades, uh, a new passionate beginning, right? Somebody waiting to start a, a new life, a new family. And we also have the Nine of Swords. Somebody wanting to fight uh, the Nine of Swords. Somebody up at night, can't sleep, uh, bad inside feelings, you know. So it looks like <clears throat> the ships may have come in, all right. But now the Empress is feeling a little upset because she started something on false pretenses, okay? She tried to take advantage. And what happened is she got her, she, she, she's stuck in her head now because of what she'd done. She might have done something to that emperor, you know, possibly not his child, possibly kept collecting and, and not telling the courts, hey, you know, the, the money is paid off, whatever, okay? So now... The Empress is all up in her head because she she was messed she was messed up and then some you know what when you mess up when you do things and they're not virtuous they're not good you you're gonna get caught you're gonna get caught and now Taurus is gonna come up ahead because why because she or he got caught good right Taurus shoot man. Nobody like get their heart or played with, right? You're going to get maybe reparations for all this. Okay, so let me see. What does Taurus need to surrender in this situation for January 15th to the 31st, 2020? What must be surrendered? 
Okay, I guess I'm feeling on here. <clears throat> okay, so this is what you need to surrender, Taurus, for January 15, 2020. Surrender comparisons with other people. Okay, so you might be trying to compare this person to that person. Is this one better than that? It, it is, you know, why, why do I like this one? Why do I like this one? You know, stop comparing people because, you know what, everybody is their own individual. All right? You know, you're not going to find, it. the only time you're going to, is good to compare is when you see twins right there. And you're trying to see, okay, let me compare, uh, maybe this one has a freckle in this spot and the other twin does I mean, that, that's comparing, okay? You want to compare a car. Does this have more gas efficiency? You know, stuff like, you don't want to compare people because people, everyone is different. Everyone. Everybody's one of a kind, even the twins. Even twins are. There There are some changes as they go through life, different experiences, and it alters them eventually, right? So stop comparing uh, yourself or others to others because it's just not worth it. You're not going to come out with an equal answer ever. Don't compare yourself saying, oh, I'm bigger than this person. I don't like myself. Or, oh, she's prettier than me. Or, oh, he's more handsome. Stop it. Because if someone loves you, they're not going to even see anything on the outside. They're going to see what you have inside, and that's what they want to know about. If you're looking for something real, they're not going to look at your outside. They're going to look at you from the inside, at your soul. They're going to try to connect with you at soul level. Because looks are not everything. Sometimes the most beautiful people have the most worse issues. Okay? having to live up to some certain expectation and now they're all traumatized so so they look pretty but they're but they got you know miles of baggage you know anyways this says keep your eyes trained on yourself there you are focus on your own strengths attractiveness and power so basically what universe is saying is you're trying to compare yourself to others well don't because you're always going to have a failed outcome about comparing yourself as being a perfect person for you. You are perfect just the way you are for you. I like to once in a while say, I am perfect just the way I am. I like to say that to myself sometimes. You should too, probably. I'm perfect just the way I am. I love myself. I don't care. I don't care what anybody thinks. I do what I do. I do what makes me happy. And what keeps me out of trouble, I don't want to be in trouble. I don't want to have issues. I don't want to have burdens. I want to live a nice, relaxed, chill, kickback life. I'm not trying to get all up into everybody's business and into everybody's drama. That sucks. <clears throat> Anyways, this was the reading for Taurus for January 15th through the 31st, 2020. My name is Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I will see you guys next time, yeah.